Hi, and welcome back. Well, we've come a long way in setting up our fictitious sample site here. And the next thing that I want to do is format the text that's on my page. Now, in order to format the text that's on the page, you're going to need to learn a little bit about CSS. We have a complete video series on the fundamentals of CSS, and I recommend that after you finish uh, this particular video series, you take a look at the HTML fundamentals videos and the CSS fundamentals videos. But for right now, what we want to do is create three different styles, three different text styles. We want to create a style to format the main headings on the page. We want to create a second style to format the second level headings that we might place on the page or the subheadings that we may place on the page. And we want to create a third style to format the paragraph text that's on the page. Now, the way a web page is constructed, headings and paragraphs are marked with what are called tags. The tag for a main level heading is H1. The tag for a second level heading is H2. And the tag for a paragraph is P. So if we modify the definition of H1 or H2 or P, the text will follow along with that formatting. Now, since we want these styles to affect all the pages in our website, I'm not going to do this in my index page that I have open right now. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go to Files, and I'm going to open the template that we created. And remember, when you modify the template, those changes cascade into all the pages that are based on that template. So they'll get these styles that we're going to create right now for H1, H2, and P. So let's go ahead now, and you're going to see there's a tab right up here called CSS Styles. If you can't see that tab, you can come here to the Windows menu and turn CSS Styles on right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on CSS Styles and make sure All is selected here. And I'm going to go ahead and right click anywhere in this area, and then I'm going to select New. And what this is going to allow me to do is create a new style for the H1 tag. So the first thing we need to do is choose a contextual selector. Basically, we just need to click that drop down and select tag. Remember, these are tag styles that we're doing. And when I do that, I'm going to have the opportunity to select the HTML tag I wish to format. I don't want to format the body tag. What I want to do is I want to format the H1 tag. So I'm going to scroll down in that list and select that. Then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. When I click OK, you're going to see that it brings me into the CSS rule definition. And the very first item is type. And that's exactly what we want. I want to go ahead and set my font to Arial. I'm going to go ahead and make the font size. 18 pixels, oops, not 28, 18 pixels. I can make the font style, I can change it to italic if I wanted to, or I can change the font weight, I can make it bold, which I do want um, that, and I can also set the color. And I'm going to go ahead and click that drop down there, and I'm just going to point at this brown color right over here, because that's the color I want my main headings to be. And I'm also going to want my subheadings, my H2 tags, to be that color. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it, right click, and copy it so I can paste it in there really quickly. So that's the way I want my H1s to appear. When I click OK and go back into my document, you're going to see the change that's there. Now, obviously, that's too small for our headings. So what we're going to go ahead and do, and if we go ahead and actually open up that index page, you're going to see that the change um, has not cascaded in yet. But let's go ahead and close that. If I save this page, it's going to ask if I want to update all the pages that are based on this template. Let's go ahead and click Update. And once it says Done there, you can go ahead and click Close. And now let's go ahead and open up that index page again, and you'll see that that style is affecting the pages that were updated. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to make this a little bit larger. 
I'm going to come back in. I'm going to close index and then come back into my template file. Always important to remember what file you're working in when you're working with templates. And then I'm going to come here to CSS styles. And again, I'm going to select all. And you're going to see the CSS styles that are defined in this document, including H1 right there. Whenever I want to change something about a CSS rule that I've already created, I just select it right from there. And here are all the properties, including the font size. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make this larger. I'm going to make it 24 uh, pixels in size. And I'll go ahead and close that off. And you'll see now my headings have been made a little bit larger. I'll save that. And again, it's going to ask me if I want to update these pages. I'll click Update and then Close. When I open my index page up, there is my main heading. Now, we haven't done anything with our second level heading yet, so let's do that now. I'll close my index page and I'm back in my template. CSS Styles. I'm going to go ahead and right click in any open area and select New. This is a tag style that I'm creating and it's for the second level heading, so I'm going to select H2 from the list. When I click OK, it brings me into this rule definition dialog box, and again, I can go ahead and select the font. I can select the font size. I'll make that one 18 point. We'll go ahead and make this bold, and I'm going to go ahead and set the color for being something a little bit different. Uh, we'll select that color there. And that way you can see the difference there. I'll click OK and click. We will save this and update our existing files. Click Close once it says Done there. And then Open Index back up. And you can see the second level headings now have that formatting applied to them. Now let's finally do our paragraphs. I'm going to come and close this file off and then come back into my template, Styles, and you're going to see I don't have the P tag there. So I'm going to right click and say New, just like we've done before, and I'm going to select this as a tag style, and I'm going to go ahead and click that drop down and scroll down until I find the P tag. I'll click OK. And now I can set up the way I want my paragraphs to look. Again, I'm going to go ahead and say Arial is my font. I'm going to set the font size for 12 pixels, the font weight to normal, the font style to normal, and I'm going to set like the line height here. You can see how dense my text is right now. I'm going to say the line height should be 160%. That means the line height is going to be increased by 160%, so it's going to space out my lines of text a little bit there. And actually, let's go ahead and make it 180. I'll make it a little bit bigger so it's a little more obvious. And then the text is going to be a black color. I'll click OK, and you can see the difference in your text right there. That's a little bit too much spacing, so I'm going to come back into CSS Styles. There's the P tag that I defined. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to 140. And then we'll go ahead and see the way that looks. That looks a little bit better. I'll go ahead and save this. And again, it's going to update my pages. I'll click Update and Close. And then I'll go ahead and open up my index file. And you're going to see the text has had that style applied to it as well. So that's real quick rundown of how to create some simple text styles to format the text on your, um, on your page. In the next video, we're going to start to add a completely new page to this website. It's going to be a contact page. And on that contact page, we're going to create a simple contact form. So we'll see you in the next video.